Gemini. Now, I will be exploring love and then career. And this reading can be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's have a look first and foremost at love and see what's coming up for you, Gemmies. Um, in regards to your love situation, which I definitely feel like has precedence for you this month. Uh, but let's see what comes up anyway. Okay, you're highly strung about a situation potentially, or there's someone around you that's highly strung about a situation. The Nine of Wands shows me there's that pent up energy where you're on alert, you're on guard. Um, it could be a fire sign this way, the feeling this way as well. Wands can be fire. Um, there's a situation that someone has left your life or might leave your life, and this might cause some sort of separation anxiety um as well some of you you feel like it might be time to move on to something you feel like there might be new horizons new connections to explore because the eight of cups can indicate an exodus um it can also indicate a period where we need um we need to go on some sort of self journey now this self journey is going to get us where we need to get to so I mean, if it's not you living someone's life, it could be someone leaving your life. It might be someone under a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you know, the moon, he can symbolize cancer. So the past could be coming back around. Cancer is bonds and attachments that you've formed in your former years, months, weeks. So that connection can resurface or at least feelings for that connection can resurface. Things like nostalgia and reflection because it's sentimentality here. Now... It could be that this water sign comes back though, okay? There might be a celebration here or an event, um, or you might bump into them unexpectedly, or you might hear about them through mutual friends. You might also be introduced to a soulmate twin flame, a new chapter in your love life because of your friends. So colleagues, acquaintances, and friends might introduce you to someone special, or they might be the way in which you um, get acquainted to this person. So that is quite exciting. Now... I do feel like with the Knight of Swords here, I do feel like your thoughts are racing about a situation here, Gemini. Um, it could be involving another air sign here, so a fellow Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius maybe, with that Knight of Swords energy. But it could definitely point to, it's it's rushing or being impulsive or wanting answers very quickly. Um, it's also rushing communication. So if someone is trying to reach out to you, if someone is trying to express themselves, give them time to do that, Gemini. Or give yourself time to express or think about how you really feel. Don't put too much pressure on the situation. Again, that self-sabotaging, self-critical energy is coming up around you in love. And it's really going to impact you in an unhealthy way if you let it, okay? Um, but the Knight of Swords can indicate something happen, happening fairly rapidly. Someone moving too quickly. Someone saying, I love you too quickly. Someone rushing into a relationship. And if someone is doing the rushing, it's a bit peculiar. Because in one way, it could mean they have an anxious attachment style. But in another way, they're trying to fill a void and using you to fill that void. Whatever, excuse me, that may be. So it's not always advised that we rush things. Because there's always a, a motivation. There's a reason why people rush or want to gain security in something here. And it's not always in your best interest, he Gemini. So you'd be wise to remember that. It's not always bad, though. Um, but I just feel like the Knight of Swords is irrationality. So you're going to see potentially impulsive behavior either from a mate, a lover, an ex, a spouse. Uh, you might see that. What I do love and what I do feel like is coming up as reassurance and or optimism is the fact that the Ten of Pentacles has come up in your love situation. And I feel like this is a, a climactic card because it's the number 10. Um, but it's also a card of things being more settled or things dying down or drama blowing over. Now, it could be in regards to an earth sign here. There could be indications that an earth sign wants to settle. An earth sign might want to introduce you to their family or friends. Um, or there could be some sort of event where you bump into someone here with the Ten of Pentacles. But I think with that coming up, I feel like it's civility, okay? It's being in a civil situation. You can see these people as they pass each other by. They glance over. They smile. So if you if things have been really intense and in your face and confrontational, I feel like things will end up calming down. 
which is a good sign, um, especially if it's in regards to your lover. There may be a period where you reconnect and see each other face to face and talk to each other calmly and rationally. And you're more refined, okay, in how you want to approach things or address things. It's more, you've got consistency, you've got that cool, calm and collected energy about you, um, which is a very, very good sign, okay? Now, the Three of Cups for some of you could definitely indicate a third party situation or having multiple options in love. There might be multiple connections present around you, Gemini, and you might have to choose. There might be an important choice that needs to be made. Um, I don't think so, though. I would feel that's more the Three of Swords. The Three of Cups, while it can indicate a tripartite component, it can indicate a celebration of some kind, an event, celebrating love, or even telling your friends or family about someone special. So someone coming deeper into your world, Gemini, or you going deeper into theirs which is an exciting time it shows that milestones you're addressing milestones in love which is always good for growth and um, development of connections but that nine of swans is here and it's looking over to that group so i don't know if it's family and friends you're necessarily going to get on with or you know you necessarily click with so that might be a point of interest for you in this month let's move on however and have a look at career business finance And see what comes up for you, Gemini, during this time. Okay, a bit of anxiousness and uncertainty in career as well. Um, the tower card, shake-ups, arguments, dr dramatic things, um, reorganizing projects, losing data. Okay, um, losing touch with what's going on creatively, building something up and having delays, someone potentially causing self-sabotaging behavior in the workplace or in your business. Um, be careful of those sorts of things, but there is anxiety linked to work as well. And I say that because the Eight of Swords has come up, which is you not seeing your vision. Um, it's possibly you doubting, but it's self-inflicted. Now, let's remember, she can move around here. She, she chooses not to. Her feet are free, but she chooses instead to, to pigeonhole herself, to tie herself down to something that she doesn't necessarily have to. So don't be obligated to do anything you don't want to do here, Gemini, or be careful you know, be careful you realize or make sure you realize and understand your power or your options because these will be presented to you and it's important you assess them quite intently. There could also be air sign or um, trouble, troubled energy in terms of communication. Lack of responses, delayed paperwork, um, not hearing back from someone, someone not agreeing to your vision, to your ideas. You might have to lay something to rest for now. Just because you move away from something, it doesn't mean you move away from it permanently. It might mean you're low on resources, accessibility, um, people, uh, appreciation, support, encouragement, audiences. But that doesn't mean you can't revisit it. It just could mean you have to lay something to rest for now. But in future, there's a possibility that you can come back to it. So it's something you need to remember. Um, but it could be air energy. There is more air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So more to do with communication, okay, for you this month in career. Um, Six of Swords could be travel opportunities, okay, immigration, travel opportunities, accommodation, whether this is international, regional, um, interstate, um, a different town. There could be foreign environments coming up where you might be required to visit foreign environments. The boat can also symbolize protection. So anything with um, confidentiality clauses, insurance, um, patent, copywriting, that is very, very important because the tower card can send a dramatic turn of events that come quite unexpectedly and you'd be wise to be prepared. So there could be something you have the opportunity to be prepared for. You might not necessarily take it in and then you end up suffering the consequences. Remember, don't put yourself in that situation when it's not necessary, Gemini. Um, 
So you might be looking at a bit of money here, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. It could be tied into your finances, resources, or assets. Um, that could be quite prominent for you. I feel with the Seven, the Seven is contemplation, it's analytics, it's looking how far you've come in a situation, it's looking at what resources you have, what you can invest in terms of resources, excuse me, time, energy, money, effort, etc. So... I mean, there's there's something here that's obviously going to affect you in that way. But the Six of Swords, you know, moving towards that Ace, this is very good. It most certainly can indicate a new chapter in your career. A very exciting chapter that can open up new, new doors, new boundaries, even take you places. Take you places around the world, take you places around the country. This is very exciting. Um... You know, Four of Swords could also be some time off too. You might be required to take some time off. You might want to take some time off. There might be a lot happening in the workplace, in the business. Um, or you might even be traveling for wholesale items. Uh, you might be traveling to meet with, with people that want to invest or people that want to uh, sponsor or collaborate with you. Um, but there could be these sorts of links. Again, I mentioned, um, you know, that union collaborations, sponsorships, business investing, etc. So obviously these people are coming in with good intentions, pure intentions, and they're coming in um, to to agree on something here or to draft up some sort of proposal and or union. And this will be very, very good for you in terms of career, creative pursuits or monetary pursuits as well. I will leave your reading at that though, Gemini. So thank you again for watching and connecting. I do hope this has been helpful for you.